What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Crofton Says Real Talk. Now, last year, you know, we got to talk to Robert Christopher Riley, who plays Terrence Wall off Hit the Floor. Well, today I got another star from the hit show, Hit the Floor. I'm here. You guys know him as the killer, German. I'm here with Mr. Jonathan McDaniel. How you doing today, sir? <laughs> That's an interesting uh, uh, introduction right there, known as the killer. <laughs> <laughs> you doing all right today, Jonathan? Oh, yeah, man. I'm doing great, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, I introduced you as, you know, German the killer. Now, I wasn't expecting it. Were you expecting it? No, man. It was one of those things where, you know, um, you just kind of like, you know, uh, do do your job and and you know hope that you continue to keep the storyline pushing throughout the show and you know I felt like um, it was a great move uh, that they gave me the opportunity to to come in as a part of the organization as the assistant coach and you know gave me another uh, another story to play you know this season besides my relationship with uh, Asha Taylor Page on the show. Um, you know, so it gave me an opportunity to really show some other different, you know, some some other uh, aspects of German that a lot of people really didn't get a chance to. And I think the main thing that a lot of people forget about German is that he is that quiet storm, you know, of a character where he doesn't really let you know too much, you know, but you know that there's something else that's there that you just don't know. There's a mystery about him. And um, I think the, uh, the, the, the creators and the writers you know, felt that from German and really wanted to play with that. And, you know, it was just a shocker for me, let alone the audience, to really, you know, not really uh, suspect me in the show as the killer. And then, you know, it come out that way. And then the way that it came out was like, okay, well, what's his motive? But then you see that I got Asha's envelope. So then it's like, dang, he really did this for his girl that he really loves and, you know, you know, love is a crazy thing, man. It'll make you do crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Now, I, what I love is, like I said again, for those who do not know, none of the cast knew who the killer was. Like, and from what I read, everybody kind of taped their own little alternate ending, um, you know, for the finale, and everybody found out at the same time. The cast found out at the same time. We as the audience found out. And I saw the video of. Everybody was at the after show and it was watching it and like Taylor Page and all and Kimberly at least everybody just went crazy when they saw you show up on the screen. Now, Jonathan, you weren't there, but like how they describe that feeling when you first saw yourself on the screen as the killer. Like, what was your first thought? Uh, man, I was, I, I, it was surreal because, you know, obviously I didn't suspect myself, but then, you know, since we did shoot an alternate ending for everyone, you know, um, anything was possible so we just kind of just you know uh, waited for that moment and when I finally saw that it was me it blew my mind because I just was like man this is crazy like the things that they've already you know thought about setting up for season three for you know for me as a character and, and, and naming me the killer which obviously nobody else on the show still knows you know so that's such a big mystery including Asha you know, so it's really going to be interesting, uh, you know, the dynamics of season three and the way that, you know, I'm going to be able to, you know, hopefully either keep this secret or I don't know. So I don't know what's to come. So it really just shocked me because I was just like, man, wow, like, dang, so that's the bomb that they're going to leave everybody on. And, you know, what's, what's to come for third season now that nobody knows this big secret but me? Right, definitely. So, like, but so do you? So you you don't have any idea what's to come for season three? No, I don't have any idea, man. I really wish that I knew. Um, they don't they don't tell us anything when it comes to uh, the storyline of the show. We actually find out everything every week. I mean, literally, as the scripts come out every week, we're finding out. It's like a, it's just like the audience. You know what I mean? Every time the scripts come out for us to read before we go to rehearsal, we all call each other and be like, "Man, did you read this? Did you find out what happens to you? Did you know what happens to us?" Like. It's just crazy, man. So I don't have any idea what they're, you know, growing up in, in the writer's room for season three. But, I mean, if it's anything that, that's, that's going to compare it to the season finale, I, you know, I'm sure that the show is going to continue to have a great storyline and be very entertaining for all the all the viewers. That's what's up. I, I know I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now, how is it working on the show, you know, working with Taylor Page and Kimberly Elise and Dean Kane and all the and everybody else? How is it in the, how is the atmosphere on the set? Oh, man, it's a 
great atmosphere, man. I'm pretty sure you know that from when you talk to to, uh, to uh, Rob Riley, man. He, uh, you know, everyone comes to work very excited to be there, all the way from the big stars of Kimberly Elise and Dean Cain, and Don Starks, all the way to us newcomers that are on the show. And, you know, we all come to work very excited and very happy, very positive about, you know, what we're there to do. And I think a lot of it starts with, you know, our creator, James LaRosa. You know, he's such a great person when it comes to, you know, keeping all of us happy with, you know, having something to do with the storyline every week. And at the same time, still giving us the confidence in our characters and, and giving us things about our characters that continues to push us as actors. You know, he he really sets the tone from, you know, the, the work ethic to all the way to, you know, the storyline that's the show. And so... It's been a it's been a dream come true for me, man. Because honestly, this is my first series regular role on a TV show, and for it to be so successful as it is, you know, so far, I'm just I'm very humbled and and honored to be a part of it, man. I, I hope that we can stay on the air for as long as they allow us. Yes, I, and I definitely hope the same thing. Now uh, he did mention like this is his first role um, as a series regular, but you know this is not his first time acting. He's been on television shows, been on movies. Uh, remarkably so, which is a show that he had a recurring role on, which is the Disney Channel show That's So Raven. And ironically enough, they just started back showing the reruns on on the Disney Channel. And I was like, and that's what made me think to try to contact your people to interview you. Because I was like, oh, that would be cool to talk to him about, you know, Hit the Floor and That's So Raven and everything. Now, take us back to that moment. Like, how was it working on That's So Raven? Because that was like your, you know, kind of your first recur- recurring role, you know, as an actor. Yeah, man, that was actually my first big break as an actor, you know, and, and still to this day, I'm, I'm very great uh, friends with Raven Simone, and, you know, I truly thank her for, for giving me that that opportunity to, to showcase my talent, you know what I mean? She really gave me a platform to stand on and to become somebody in the acting world, and, um, you know, I just kind of took it in and ran with it as much as I could, you know, it was very exciting to be able to learn so much that I learned on that show. Because, you know, um, it was my first big break and, you know, so it was very excited for me to learn everything. And at the same time, you know, it gave me the opportunity to also, you know, get used to uh, being on set and being used to shooting and, and holding a storyline or, you know, developing a character. And so um, I truly hold on to those days, man, because it's some of the happiest days that I've had, you know, as, a, a, as an entertainer and, and coming up just because it was so exciting for me to learn all this, you know, and I'm still learning it today, but, you know, to learn all that firsthand from such great actors like Raven Simone, you know, and still continue to be friends with them afterwards, it really, you know, showed me uh, business and, and professionalism, you know, and it showed me also how to how to be an actor in the entertainment industry and, and produce it and, and, and make sure that I give the... Uh, production team what they want you know to, to continue to work you know there's so many different levels when it comes to acting you know and uh, that's so raven was just such a great time for me uh you know to be able to to get into to the acting industry yeah that's what's up man that's definitely that's what's up now you're actually on the set of a movie now now can you tell us a little bit about like what what you're working on what's 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 going on with that um yeah the, the, uh, the film is called my many sons and um, it's a true story based on a man by the name of Don Meyer, who uh, was the head coach of Lipscomb University basketball, uh, men's basketball team, uh, for, you know, over 25 years. And uh, he actually was um, uh, the, the uh, record holder for the most winningest coach in college history for a very long time until recently someone just, uh, just passed him by a couple games. But he recently just passed away um, due to cancer. And, um, you know, his story of uh, the way he inspired these young men who played basketball for him, you know, not only on the court but in life and really spoke a lot of uh, positive inspirations into these young men's lives. And uh, it's a true story about a couple of the characters and a couple of the, the, the guys that were touched by him and really uh, went on to pursue careers as coaches as well and, and, and mentorship um, in the world. And so the movie is based on those characters and the actual real story of Don Meyer and, you know, how he was really a, a, a humble being that didn't care about, 
you know, being on the big screen. He didn't want to go to D1 basketball because he, he just loved the university that he was at. He loved the people. He loved the community. And he wasn't about trying to get fame or trying to get bigger as a coach. He was more about, you know, learning the game of basketball and teaching these young men how to play basketball and use those same morals and values and, and discipline that they that they learned from playing basketball going into life and, and becoming, you know, some successful individuals. So it's a it's a really great inspirational story that's uh, getting ready to come out next year. Um, there's a lot of newcomers that are that are on the, the, the film that are basically uh, playing the players, including myself. I play a, a man by the name of Pete Froden, who was a real basketball player that played for Coach Meyer. And um, it's an amazing story, man. I'm really hoping that people are able to, um, you know, go see it when it comes out and really support it because the people of Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, uh, South Dakota, um, you know, at Northern University, whatever, really uh, love this man for what he did for Lipscomb and for Northern University. He played, he coached for both teams, and uh, and really did a lot for these individuals. So it just shows like his career <clears throat> from when <clears throat> he started coaching way back in Nashville, Tennessee, all the way till he uh, finished his career at Northern University before he had a tragic accident and uh, and found out that he had cancer and, uh, and passed away. So it's a great story, man. If you look up Don Meyer, you'll see so many different uh, videos and, and, you know, information on this man. You know, he's really the most special coach to me in college history that nobody knows about you know so i'm really great to be a part of this project and and uh i'm, I'm happy that that it's uh that it's coming together cool that's what's up man now is this is this for like theater or is it going to be a made for tv movie what, what is it um i'm not sure uh exactly what the distribution uh company has in store i know that it's it's definitely potentially going to theaters um, but I mean, more importantly, you know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be an outlet somewhere for people to see this film. So okay. I, I encourage everyone just to kind of stay, uh, connected to it. You can either follow my Instagram, Jonathan underscore McDaniel, you know, and my Twitter, Lil J's back for, you know, information about the movie, or they also have their own page, Don Myers, Don Meyer movie, um, on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Okay, cool. Definitely, definitely check it out guys. Now, Here's a little throwback. Now, for those who may or may not remember, uh, Jonathan, you know, did some music as Lil J. So, uh, Jonathan, are you still are you still like kind of doing music now, or are you kind of just like you know that's that's back in the day? I'm working on acting. Like, what's what's up with the music situation? Oh uh, no, man! Music has always been one of my my number one passions. That's how I got it in the industry was music. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I just love to do no matter what. You know, I'm not in it to compete with any of the other rappers or entertainers that's out there. I just, I put out music for the people that listen to me and the people that want to be able to, to listen to my music. And um, and just for a creative standpoint, you know, and, and, and the therapy, you know, in, in, as an entertainer, it's great to create. And music is one of those things and, and one of those tools that I use to create Um and so I'm still putting out records. I actually started my own production company by the name of Genius Child. Um, and um, I just recently put out a, um, a EP on iTunes. You can go on there. It's called Born a Star. The star is an acronym. It stands for a soul that attracts realness. And um, it's just one of those uh, those EPs that I put out right as the uh, season was ending for Hit the Floor because a lot of people was wondering about my music and you know, I wanted to be able to do some shows and touring on off um, seasons for the show. And so I put out this EP, you know, with some really good music for the people to listen to and just for the fans to really get back to hearing me and, and, and hearing my music. And, you know, I, I got a lot more music to come. We recently had a record by the name of uh, Dances on the House featuring Gary Douglas um, that was featured on the Hit Floor Season 2. Um, that's getting ready to be on iTunes very soon, so you can check that out. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just continuing to do music no matter what. It's just one of those things that I just love to do, and uh, I'm going to continue to do it no matter what. That's what's up, man. Definitely uh, kudos to you on, on doing that. Now, um, since Carlton says, you know, we talk about television, of course, Hit the Floor is one of our favorite shows. Now, what is your favorite show? What shows are you checking? I know you're really busy, but if you have some downtime, what, what are some of your favorite shows? Um, I mean, definitely Hit the Floor is, is, is actually a great show to watch, man. So uh, it, it's crazy because it took me a very long time as an actor to really be able to 
kind of like watch my own stuff on television. I never really liked doing that, you know, but I really enjoy watching the show. The plot is crazy, you know, and I love seeing the way that that it comes out after filming it. Um, but more, more of me, of what I usually watch on the daily, man, I watch a lot of documentaries, you know, as an actor, I'm very um, concerned about studying um, human behavior and the way that, you know, people... Um, do things in this world so I watch a lot of documentaries a lot I watch a lot of like first 48 um, mystery shows and different things on the discovery channel and the history channel and you know I, I study those type of shows just because a lot of those shows are based off of real facts and things that people do you know science does uh, mother nature does and, and those things I'm very um, attracted to as an actor because it's just knowledge you know, that we should have uh, being an actor and, and trying to play multiple characters. So I enjoy watching stuff like that, man. It, it really gets to me more than just watching a fictitious show. I, I'd rather watch something that's more, you know, real to me. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Now, before we sign off, um, Jonathan, one more time, I know you mentioned it earlier, but one more time, if your fans want to connect with you, how can they do so? Uh, you can definitely check me out. Uh, I am Genius Child on Facebook. The Instagram is Jonathan underscore McDaniel, um, and the Twitter is Lil J's back. You could definitely, I encourage everyone to go to my uh, my fan club site, Lil, uh, it's, uh, Jonathan McDaniel's fans, um, dot com, Jonathan McDaniel fans dot com. So make sure you definitely go check that out. And uh, we have a merchandising store that's, that's uh, under construction right now, but you can get the links to that from that fan site, Jonathan McDaniel fans dot com. So, um, Definitely, man. Follow me and, and, and stay, you know, stay in tune with the movement that's going on. And, you know, I appreciate the support from everyone, man. I, one thing about me is that from day one, I've had a lot of great fans that have been behind me from the music scene, from That's So Raven to Hit the Floor and throughout all my movies and different things that I'm doing. So I, I, I truly give all my thanks to my fans, man, that stayed with me and stayed loyal to me throughout all, you know, throughout it all. So I appreciate you guys. No problem, and thank you uh, for doing great work, man. And we'll we'll continue to support you and to follow you, man. I appreciate that, Carl. Too, man, my, my man, stay in touch, too, brother. Anything you need from me, let me know, bro. I got you, bro. And, and, and again, thank you so much for this this great interview. Had had a good time talking with you. Okay, sounds good, man. Take care. All right, you too. Okay, All bye. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Jonathan McDaniel talking with me on this episode of Carlton Says Real Talk. Be sure to tune in. Uh, stay in tune with what he's doing but also you know tune in to you know hit the floor has gone off the air but it will be back for another season it, it did sign for season three on vh1 it will be back next summer all right guys that's it for carlton says, carlton says real talk make sure you guys tune in because you never know who i'm going to talk to next all right that's it y'all be blessed and we'll talk to you another day peace